When I was a student, I'll tell you my confession. I hated chemistry till 10 plus 2. I scored the lowest marks in chemistry in 10 plus 2 among all other subjects. But then I took admission in a chemistry course by mistake. And my professors taught me in such a way that I topped the university in organic chemistry. So a person who scored the lowest within a year was a topper, university topper. How was that possible? Well, it's the way you are told about chemistry. And if you're someone who loves chemistry, watch this video till the end. And if you're someone who hates chemistry, you should still watch this video till the end because today I'm going to tell you 10 amazing, exciting future jobs in chemistry, which will revolutionize your career, right? So let's get started with this video. The first thing which I have for you is green chemistry specialist. You all live in nature. This is nature where we are living, we are sitting. And this nature has various components, ecological components. Now, because of certain chemicals, these components are getting polluted. For example, just today I was reading a research paper where the incidence of cancer in Uttar Pradesh in India is higher than anywhere else in India. So 77% higher. Why was that? Why was, is it so? Because the chemicals from the industry are percolating the water bodies and this is hurting, right? So designing processes, sustainable processes within the industry so that it does not hurt the environment, right? Now you'll be like, why would the industry do that? I'll tell you. Because of this pollution, governments are making rules that now the industry must not pollute the environment. So designing sustainable process, contributing to a more sustainable world by designing chemical processes that minimize the environmental impact, okay, and protect human health, right? So that's first application. The second application of this will be obviously renewable energy. So you have, you develop and implement new technologies to harness renewable energies and such as wind, solar and biomass, especially biomass for a chemistry expert. Third will be obviously conservation. So working in the conservation organizations and finding out how the natural resources are getting impacted by chemicals and to prevent that. So that's the first one that is green chemistry. The second one which I have for you is computational chemist. Now, what would you do in this? You will use computers to model molecules, molecular modeling, drug designing, optimizing the processes and getting into virtual reality and finding out, okay, how would this particular chemical or particular atom or electron or system will interact with others, other things and uh, with the human body probably if you're into drug designing and how it will dock with the receptors and create the desired um, effect. So that is where chem computational chemistry will come into picture. The next one you have is similar, that is chemi-informatics scientist. Now basically what you will do, you will do data analysis, you will do drug discovery, you will uh, do chemical knowledge management, you will develop and utilize algorithms and softwares to analyze large data sets and extract meaningful insights. You will be working with other chemists, other biologists to develop drugs, optimize drug processes and predict the efficacy and side effects of drugs also doing accelerated drug discovery studies. So this is what you will be doing as a chemi-informatics scientist. The next one which we have is food chemist. Now we all know that foods are going to be here as long as humans are going because that's our battery, right? We eat before this video I had to eat. So yeah, so you know food, ATP. So now a lot of harmful chemicals can percolate into food like coloring agents like um, uh, adult trends and all. So as a food chemist, you are doing a QAQC check, you are developing new products, functional foods, plant-based foods, plant-based alternatives to the existing foods and then analyzing the effect of chemicals on our senses and then doing of course the quality control of the existing foods which is being served in the restaurants and all and of course as a food chemist you can even become a food inspector also. So yeah, that's the type of job in the future which will exist. The next job which will exist in the future will be process development chemist. Now, what would you do? You will be optimizing the operation. So basically, suppose there is a paint industry or there is a petrochemical industry or any chemical industry, you th there is processes, right? So if you would uh, use computers or your ob own observation to optimize the process and create cost savings processes, right? You can even create products um, and you can also scale up the existing product. Like, okay, this particular product was generated in a lab. So how would you use it and create it in a factory? 
and of course optimizing the process safety because you are you know not dealing with a harmful a lot of harmful chemicals so that's process development chemist the next one which will be existing in the future of course even today it exists is analytical chemist so calibration and testing forensic analysis instrumentation all this will come under analytical chemist developing validating analytical methods performing chemical analysis of various samples such as pharmaceuticals food and environmental samples all of this will come under this forensics work with law enforcement agencies to identify and analyze substances and finding it uh, finding proofs for a crime and presenting it in court that will be your job instrumentation like designing and op uh, operating complex analytical instruments such as mass spectrometers chromatographs all that you will be doing as a analytical chemist the next one which i have for you is a material scientist now under this you have nanotechnology designing and synthesizing new materials with unique properties such as superconductivity recently it was in news that room temperature superconductivity we could uh, you know generate and how who did that a material scientist so you are already li living in the future materials characterization materials processing developing optimizing processes for various materials such as metals ceramics polymers to enhance their properties and making them much more usable for the general crowd so that's something which you have to now you look at material uh, scientists will also be used in reducing the impact of plastics and also even that will come into picture the next one which exists even today and which will always exist is quality control chemist any process in any factory any industry requires this right so testing and inspection troubleshooting regulatory compliance making sure that all the things are running smoothly all these three things then you have to become a quality control chemist now this is a job of the future evergreen job it will always remain now the next one which i have for you is petrochemical engineer who what would he do he will do a process control he will monitor and control the entire operations of generation of the crude oil such as distillation fractionation cracking in the oil refinery now he will also monitor the pipeline and storage and designing and operating the pipelines and looking making sure there is no leakage making sure that there is no corrosion there is no uh, interaction with external elements all that will be pipeline and storage and the third will be obviously logistics and transportation because the crude is generated in you know uae or somewhere and then it is transported to gujarat india across the world right so logistics and transportation even you, there also as a petrochemical engineer your life is set so that's one job which you can always do the last one which i have for you the 10th one is quantum chemistry scientist now this is like the next level of research quantum chemistry is a upcoming field and quantum uh, numbers i hope you already know it's always in the zero and one state so you can't really say whether it is in the zero state or a one state i have done a lot of videos on this also already so theoretical modeling developing and applying quantum mechanics and computational tools to study the behavior of atoms and molecules that's one application the second one will be new material discovery discover and design new materials with unique electronic electromagnetic magnetic and optical properties using quantum simulations and of course applying quantum chemistry principles into quantum computing even that will be there catalysis uh, designing and optimizing catalysts of various chemical reactions and green chemistry applications by understanding their electronic and geometric structures stereochemistry so this is where quantum chemistry comes into picture this is like probably you will right now find only one or two quantum chemist uh, in this world but yeah quantum chemistry scientist is one such field where you can make a future now my conclusion to you is whatever you do if there are a lot of people like you you will always be paid less okay if you are somebody who is unique who who's you are the only person in the world who can do it you will be in billions right for example there is only google who can provide you the search the way it does right so google has a monopoly the same way if you are a quantum chemist you have you will have a monopoly but if you are a petrochemical engineer even though you will earn but there is not not a, such a great future as a quantum chemist so you know that is why i have kept the uh, you know series in such a way that the last one is the most special which is quantum chemist but apart from that all others have also got a glorious future now one last point is if in case chemistry excites you chemistry is what you want to pursue then always subscribe to rasayanika.com and rasayanika's youtube channel because all things chemistry comes right here thank you so much for watching this video see you soon in the next one till then keep shining and glowing all the best bye bye